You saved me. Why? Mm, monkey. Well, Oranguru may not be a monkey, but this orangutan Pokemon will make for a great addition to PvP, so join me as I break down its viability in the GBL. Let's get into it. Welcome back. So Oranguru will debut with the sustainability event this week, and it's a very solid addition to PvP. It's comparable to Hypno, both are psychic type confusion users with decent bulk, although they do have some distinct differences. Hypno is a slight bit bulkier, whereas Oranguru has a slightly higher attack. Additionally, Hypno has the strength of having several viable moves, including the three elemental punches, Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, and even Psychic occasionally. One of the biggest benefits to Hypno is that its moveset unpredictability can confuse opponents, paving a way to victory. But even though Oranguru really only has one viable moveset, it's still one that makes it quite good. Oranguru runs the moveset of Confusion plus Psychic and Foul Play, pretty solid moves overall. Oranguru also has the benefit of its unique typing of Normal and Psychic, something that makes it only weak to Dark and Bug, also eliminating Psychic's Ghost weakness thanks to the Normal type. This orangutan Pokemon is bulky, has a solid moveset, and a decent typing, so let's stop beating around the bush and see how well it does. It's certainly not bad in the Great League, but you may be thinking, under 50% of the Great League meta doesn't sound too great, right? Well, Oranguru isn't going to blow anyone away, but it is worth noting that it's a Pokemon who does well against most Pokemon except those of a specific type, being Dark. When your only attacks are Psychic and Dark type, you're not going to do well against a Pokemon that holds the Dark type. So Pokemon like Scrafty, Mandibuzz, Umbreon, and Drapion are all going to squash Oranguru. And while slightly less so, Steel types will also give it a very hard time. However, Oranguru is left with a lot of great wins against the rest of the meta, including Azumarill, Trevenant, Machamp, Metacham, Nidoqueen, and several others. Oranguru is perhaps even better in the Ultra League though. While the same Dark and Steel types plague it here, it has more Ghost types to bully like Gengar, Driftblim, and Giratina. It even beats some that you wouldn't expect, like Galvantula. So all in all, Oranguru is going to make its mark in PvP as a solid, bulky Psychic type. The best way to use it is to have two other Pokemon on your team that cover its weaknesses, so Steel and Dark mainly. After I build one myself, I plan on running it alongside Scrafty and Vigoroth for the Great League, and Scrafty and Toxicroak for the Ultra League. Their powerful fast move counter will help combat both Dark and Steel types that would threaten Oranguru, making for a pretty well-rounded team. Feel free to give these teams a try, and be sure to let me know how well they do down in the comments. But that just about wraps up this orangutan analysis, so if you like this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future ones, and don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. But until next time, I hope you have a great day, and I wish you all the best of luck in catching a Ranguru. Take care.